Hi everyone, it's Brian. In this video, I want to review the book Cracking the Mathematics Subject Test, the GRE. This right here is the fourth edition. I, uh, it's by the Princeton Review. And man, if you're gonna go to mathematics grad school, you most certainly have to take the GRE. In fact, you probably have to take the math subject GRE, which is a, <laughs> it's a whole new breed of test. It's probably one of the hardest tests you'll ever take. And the math subject GRE test is essentially a final for your entire mathematics degree. So uh, yeah, there's a lot on that. I mean, you've got everything from pre-calc, calc, differential equations, linear algebra, abstract algebra. They even have stuff like complex analysis, discrete mathematics, probability and statistics. I mean, you name it. If it's something that you could learn as an undergrad, maybe some topologies in there. If there's a math class that uh, is widely taught across America, then the GRE says, hey, that's free game and we can put that on our test. So unless you have taken a uh, really easy to read notes for yourself over the course of your entire mathematical career as an undergraduate student, um, you might want a study guide if you're gonna take this test. And this is the one that personally I recommend. This is the one that I use to take the math subject GRE test. And let's just take a look at it. So if you look through this, um, hopefully you can see, this contents of this book is pre-calc, calc one, calc two, and I'll just mention that this edition, what they call calc two, most people would call calc two and calc three. So I, it only says up to calc two, but it, it, it also has calc three in here. Uh, differential equations, linear algebra, number theory and abstract algebra, and then what they call additional topics, which <laughs> the additional topics include logic, set theory, graph theory, algorithms, combinatorics, probability statistics, point set, topology, real analysis, complex variables. So if all of that being on one test sounds like a little bit of overkill, you're right. Um, but if you're graduating with a math degree, you should have seen most of it before, most all of it. And this guide is absolutely fantastic for a review. If you were to buy this book, maybe let's say a couple months before the exam, um, and you worked through it, you know, at a slow, steady pace, you would feel extremely confident because it starts you at ground zero, just reviewing everything that you've been doing for the past few years and in a very nice bite-sized way. It has nice little lessons on everything, lots of examples. So you can see this just goes over the basics of pre-calc, some geometry, polynomials, logarithms, and trig. I mean, they spend, what, four pages, maybe five or six pages on the entirety of trigonometry. And if you're a math student, that's okay. You can swallow the entire trig in about six pages. And then after each, um, after each chapter, there is a test on that chapter, which is really nice. Maybe 20, 20 to 60 problems, depending on how much uh, that subject is tested. And then the answers are in the back, the worked out answers. So that's really nice. And you might think, well, hey, I can, I can skip the pre-calc section. I can do every pre-calc problem. Uh, You'd be surprised. <laughs> I mean, the, the pre-calc questions, some of them are some of the hardest on the exam, believe it or not. So you don't want to skip that. Of course, it is all through calculus. There are lots of calculus questions here that stumped me. And I was so glad that I went through this book and I did the questions that were in this book because that really, really helped me when I took the exam. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. If I did not use this guide going in to take the test, I would have had a much harder time. It is, it is a bear of a test. If you look online and you look up what other students who have taken the test say about the mathematics subject test, they will tell you it's tough. And they will tell you, you should use some sort of study resource. In my opinion, it should be this book. And then, so when you're working through it, there are gonna be topics you don't know. That's okay, you can actually use this book to teach yourself. At the time, I had not taken a complex analysis class and I pretty much learned just about everything I needed to know for complex analysis 
uh, for the test in this book. And it was really manageable. It doesn't seem like it would be, but the book makes it so it's really not too bad. Um, and then at the very end of the book, there is a practice math subject jury test. Uh, so I think the test is roughly 65, maybe 66 questions long. I can't remember exactly, but it has a full test about, about the structure of how the test will be laid out. Um, notice it's a multiple choice test, so you'll be able to check your answer fairly easily. And it's basically just a big test and you can kind of see how you would do um, if you were to actually take the test. The one thing I'll say is that probably when I took the real mathematics subject GRE test, it was harder than what I was expecting, even taking this um, practice test in the back of the book. So if you do purchase this book and you take the practice test in the back, you might even expect that the real thing is even harder, <laughs> not to discourage you in any way, um, but just something to keep in mind. Uh, the only bad thing I can really say about this book is that, uh, well, for one thing, this is an older edition and the rules of the math subject GRE, GRE test changed. I think they format the test a little differently. So if you buy the newer edition, that should, uh, hopefully that's corrected and up to date now. And then I think this edition, I think I found like maybe one or two typos in it, uh, but they weren't um, anything detrimental at all. I can't really remember where they are at the moment, but overall, this is an absolutely fabulous resource. If you are going to take the mathematics subject GRE test, and I have friends who have, I tell them to buy this book. They have thanked me for telling them to buy this book because uh, you need a study guide for this kind of test. So I hope this review helped you. I hope it gave you a, a resource if you're planning to take the math subject GRE test yourself. I'll throw a link in the description. Hopefully I can find the newest edition of this book if you'd like to check it out. And hey, thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.